Is it possible to display Mr. Davis's question? Uh, he can rep he can, uh, but he can read it too. Mr. Davis, would you like to read your question? Um, sure. Yeah, well, I'm happy to take it as it is read. Um, Thank the question you. is: Does the leader agree that the council, its members, the leader should at all times be fully open and transparent to maintain public trust in the council? its elected members and the leader included, ensuring that members declare an interest and are clearly made and recorded when items are put before the council for consideration that may result in policy change of the council. Thank you, and I invite the leader to respond. Um, yes, Mr. Davis, I agree in principle with the statement as set out within your question. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Davis, do you have a supplementary question? I do, yeah. Um, if the leader could possibly explain the in principle from the degree that um, all council members um, stand by the Nolan principles that cover every elected councillor and officer and form part of Eden's own council constitution covering the conduct of members along with the requirement to disclose interests. Um, in July 2019, the leader put a motion to the council to declare a climate emergency that was seconded by uh, councillor robinson i believe from memory that motion was put forward following a um, direct lobby in the council chamber by an organization that the leader um, was as of the 31st of march 2019 still listed as a director of the organization that lobbied the council before her motion no declarations of interest or links with the organisation was made either in the chamber or on the leader's declaration of interest. So can the leader explain the reasoning why the declaration wasn't made of an, a link and an interest with an organisation that could potentially open up that motion that forms a key part of all council policy now to a legal challenge? Thank you. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. Um... Uh, Mr. Davis, um, so the, the, the organisation that you're referring to is the Penrith Action for Community Transition, which is a um, it's a member of the Transition Towns movement, which commits uh, its um, its members its place to uh, moving towards um, a time when there would be um, uh, no, no more oil. In fact, it's a, um, it's a slightly, um, the, the, the concept has been slightly um, um, sort of um, added to by, by, by the climate change. Um, now, I, I did resign my membership of, uh, I mean, my, my directorship of PACT um, on becoming a councillor. Um, and I'm afraid the, the date the exact date, I'm afraid, I, I, I don't hold in my head. Um, and um, I would, um, um, I think what I'll have to do is, um, is look back to see, to, to, to check the day. Was, um, I don't believe that, uh, that this, this, this group is uh, a, a sort of political lobbying group. It is a local group which um, which encourages uh, uh, sort of no use of plastic and recycling and so on and so forth. So um, I don't believe that it is a political body. Um, I resigned as a, as a precaution in case um, it looked as if I was furthering the interests of this group rather than um, that um, that it it in itself was um, um, might might be seen as being um, a, a, a politically uh, contentious. Um, having said that, um, I need to sort of like have a think about this really because um, um, groups which are set up to promote a climate emergency, I would have thought, um, um, you know, might well not be contraindicated to taking part in the, in that in that promotion and debate, and 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 uh, 
and 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 so on. So um, I'll I'll have another think about it, Mr. Davis, and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.